Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. Woo! That song is a club banger. Anyways, I know it's been a while since you've seen me. It's been a while since I made a video in general. And, you know, I had to do some soul searching. I had to find myself again. I had to look deep inside this water bottle and say, yeah, that's where I am. So after a few weeks of sniffing Sharpies and basically just doing a bunch of other crazy stuff, I remembered a show that I used to like, a show that I loved, a show that brought me a little bit of happiness, a show that will bring everyone happiness, a show that basically has nothing to do with the actual religions that the shows are based on, I'm talking about a show called Saint Young Men, a show about Buddha and Jesus, and they are best buddies. By the way, I was kidding about sniffing Sharpies. I don't sniff Sharpies or do bad things. Um, I sniff USB drives and do bad things. Saint Young Men is a show about Buddha and Jesus, and it's a show that I like a lot. And it's a show that I think a lot of other people will like a lot. So without further ado, let's get into why I like it and why you should watch it. Ooh. So have you ever been on Tumblr or just the internet in general, and you see a screenshot of an anime? I'm talking like an amazing screenshot of an anime and it just makes you want to see more of it. Whether it's because of the beautiful animation or because you just want to know the context of a specific scene. Well, Saint Young Men is straight up an entire anime where you can just take it just about any scene and put it up on Tumblr and the internet and someone, somewhere will see it and want to watch the show just to see why it's happening. Be warned though, if you don't want to see Buddha and Jesus be best friends on a day to day basis, then this show isn't for you. This show also might not be for you if you just think the idea of this show, meaning Buddha and Jesus being best buddies, is offensive in any way. Now that that's out of the way, we can start talking about this show, Saint Young Men, Lego. Saint Young Men, or Saint Onisan, is a manga created by Hikaru Nakamura and was made into a two episode series and a movie. It isn't for everyone, it's a true slice of life comedy show that isn't over the top with its reactions or situations and isn't trying to shove anything into your face. It's a pure, light-hearted show. Buddha and Jesus are roommates in an apartment complex. They go about their daily tasks like grocery shopping, trying to pay their rent on time, and just trying to socialize while not letting the fact that they're basically deities hinder their goals or interfere with anyone around them. This show is basically the daily lives of Buddha and Jesus, and I can't stress that enough. Jesus and Buddha each have their own personalities that mesh extremely well together and really work out for a show like this. Jesus is a really passionate person who loves all things and looks like Johnny Depp, according to some girls at a grocery store at least. He has a knack for finding the good things in everything and having animals appear around him when he talks. He's also full of determination. Fun fact, he turns water into wine accidentally. In contrast, Buddha is more calm and thinks about things more and is more concerned with his appearance. For example, some kids made fun of his forehead so when he passes the kids he hides it or tries to make a distraction for the kids. Buddha is also afraid of things he doesn't really understand, like roller coasters, and goes into a trance while riding one. When Buddha exits the coaster, he glows and everything around him glows. When he gets sad, he loses color, and he becomes a very pale person. He's also the one who tries to shop for good deals at grocery stores. Fun fact, he shines bright and his hair gets mistaken for an antique. All in all, this show is an all-around nice show. It will never make you feel bad, and it puts the characters in daily life situations just like normal people, except they're Buddha and Jesus. You'll enjoy this show if you want a quick watch that'll make you feel good. Seeing how these two act together feels as real as any real people in everyday life, and I think that's what gives this show an extra kick. Saint Young Men isn't really for everyone at first, but after you start it, I'm sure you'll be converted. Pun intended. So that's why I like Saint Young Men, and I also think that you will like it, and I think that you should tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, and everyone around you to watch the show, especially if their religion is Christian or Buddhist, I guess that's the religion for Buddha, Buddhist. The show does not offend any religions to me, at least, and I think it's a very fun show for everyone to enjoy no matter how old you are, because there aren't really that many adult jokes in it. I don't even think there were any adult jokes in it at all. So yeah, enjoy Saint Young Men, and I'm promised that I will not have another like three week stretch where I won't make a video. 
I, I was sick for one week, and then the other two weeks, I don't even know. I was just not myself. Also, I don't have a hat, as you can see. Uh, it's dirty, so I didn't wear it. That's the only reason. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, see you next week. Uh, there's probably going to be at least like two videos next week. I got to make up for my lost time. Uh, that's it, and uh, peace. Well, I wrote this song for the Christian youth. I want to teach kids the Christian truth. If you want to reach those kids on the street, then you got to do a rap to a hip-hop beat. So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. <laughs>